Welcome back to my Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. My name is Martin. I've, uh, there's, essentially, there's nothing really in orbit anymore except for uh, a tank from, well, I guess it's the big, uh, two tanks from, and an engine from the, the Manly, uh, original Manly space station, which was the Manly 3, I believe. Um, but, uh, I deorbited the, the space station itself, and, uh, now I'm going to launch the next version of it. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. I have to go check on my bread. I'm making bread. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. And I'm back. <laughs> Not like you noticed any difference, but yeah. So uh, for you, those of you who missed the the Let's Play, I, think I was explaining it during uh, uh, Game of Dwarves, uh, just about bread making and stuff. Uh, how much I enjoy it, and it's, whoops, it's a fun thing to do. So, yeah, I'm just uh, making a, a loaf of bread and some rolls. Should uh, do me for sandwiches and things this week. And yeah, so I've added uh, connectors on to the Manly Space Station, including a small docking connector there. So I'll always have an option to dock a small probe like craft that, that's even smaller than the bacon probe that I made. Um, I put the bacon probe up on. Uh, What's that? Kerbal Spaceport as well, if anyone's interested. Either search for bacon or search for my Hillstash profile. Give it a download, give it a vote, maybe, uh, if you enjoy the probe. Anyway, uh, let's see, I've got about 15 minutes before I have to go check on the bread again, so... Uh, did, I mention, did I mention that I knocked off an engine down here? It was one of the things I was uh, testing, actually. I, I might have some video, I might I might not, I don't know. Of uh, The last things I was doing in point one seven point one uh, was testing out the, some different asparagus staging when you don't need engines on all the the tanks that drop off and uh, it worked really well. It gained, gained me an extra I think 300 meters a second of delta B on that last stuff I was working on. But uh, anyway, I should uh, attempt to get this into orbit and see how that goes and uh, meet you at the launch pad. So here we are, Ron Can and Son, Son Me. Were those the same guys as before? I can't remember. Uh, we've got to give it a little bit more throttle because we don't have the same number of engines on the bottom. And uh, I don't really remember much else of the, the flight up from before. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes slash went. And uh, yeah. In three, two. And that's the danger of uh, <laughs> doing this without paying attention. Blowing up all the engines. <sighs> that was silly. Alright. Let's do it abort from inside, just for fun. So yeah, that was uh, that was my fault. <laughs> I was trying to be all cinematic and uh, fancy fancy, and uh, I 
forgot about the engine's overheating issue, so so it'll be the Manly 6. We'll give it a, a try in a minute. And because of that fantastic uh, launch abort system, Ron Can and Sonmi are back again for another attempt at this. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Uh, sorry, it was the Manly 5, this one, the last one was 4, so the Manly 5, space station, in 3, 2, And just like that, the music starts up, and we are in space <laughs> with possibly the lowest orbit I have ever done. Kind of straight out of the box without ever having to touch anything. <laughs> that is 2296 meters a second. That's almost 2300 meters a second. And that is, it looks like just, just in orbit. Uh, I may raise it up a little bit. Uh, just because, yeah, I, I don't know, I've never had an orbit quite that low. I, you know what I'm going to do is uh, eject this stage, even though it's got a lot of fuel left. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, because I've still got this uh, booster stage as well, which is, this is originally just meant to be, this would circularize the orbit, but and this was supposed to drop back to the planet, but you can see um, with my changes, even just dropping off those two engines there, it was a really slow start. Although depending on how fast I fast forwarded and stuff, it was a little maybe harder to see. But uh, yeah, uh, I have a ton of fuel left over. I mean, I feel bad even dropping this off because this could. You know what? Maybe I'll keep it on because then I can just use this fuel initially to transfer to other vehicles, and then once it's empty, I can ditch it. Yeah, I like that idea. Why waste this much fuel, you know? <laughs> when you don't have to. So, uh... Seems to be stabilizing <laughs> the numbers out here a little bit. I need to get my panels out. I'm probably... No, not really losing charge. Yet. I don't know why I wouldn't be. I'm not in any sunlight that I know of. No. I don't really fully understand how the electricity thing's working because I had that the little probes that I would initially didn't know what was going on when I was running out of power, uh, and they, yeah, they seem to they seem to run out of power very easily. Whereas this doesn't seem to be running out of power. Right, let's extend all of the things. And my timer is going off again. I need to go check on the bread. So I'll be right back. And I'm back, and the bread is now baking. So that's excellent. Maybe I'll include a shot. I've got to go check it in in you know, 20 minutes or so. We'll see. We should. How long has this been going now? Probably not that long. Let me just check on that, too. Going for about 15 minutes, it looks like. So, not. Uh, when I time compress that launch, it'll be a little bit less, so we got a little bit of time. Where are we on the map? Not too long till the sun makes an appearance. We're about on the opposite side of the Manly Station the debris there, too. That's okay, that's the launch pad. So yeah, uh, really low orbit. That is just in the at out of the atmosphere. Pretty happy with that. The benefits of this are, well, for one thing, I have a lot of fuel left over. Um, higher in the orbit you go, the more fuel you have to burn to get there. Despite the fact that your speed will be less 
at that orbit, the higher you are. So you won't get as much of an Oberth effect, whereas here I'm going to have maximum Oberth effect uh, if I'm doing any launch of anti uh, interplanetary craft from here. So that's another benefit. Um, let me see. I guess the, the way I made this station, it looks like I have to keep it kind of sideways for it to... Oops, what am I doing here? Let's uh, try to bring it back up a little bit and spin that way. Yeah, that way when the sun does come out, we'll get most solar panels we can into the sun. So, still that full charge. I do not understand. Batteries? Not coming down at all? Whoop, whoop, whoop. No, I just probably screwed up the orbit there. 75. Ugh. Can't believe I did that. I hit a wrong button. Well, I'll fix it. Uh, so the periaps, so I need to... Can I do this in uh, time warp? Oh, it's slow. It's <laughs> we'll get there. Use a little RCS, I guess. Okay, let's stop using RCS. Let's. No, oh, I guess I have a good amount of it. Okay, I'm a little bit beyond, but. Whoa. Ugh. Oh, I had the time acceleration on. Nah. Okay, when I get to there, I need to go prograde. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm going to spend all this time. Oh, yeah, we need this back on to do this. That's okay. We're fixing it. Not using a lot of fuel. At least we're now in the sun, so... Somewhere around there. Let's see if we can stabilize at that. Okay. So that's over 70, this is a little... okay, that's still, still good. Um, so one thing I'm going to do is shut down that engine, that way I can't. Haha! -ha, I cannot screw it up. That's uh, a good use of that. I don't know why this is <laughs> twirling around so much. Yeah, so it's got full charge, I don't know why. Uh, It's not the prettiest space station. <laughs> uh, yeah. So maybe I'll cut that off, the episode off here. Should I? Should I not? Um, next thing to do is to. Well, what is the next thing to do? <laughs> um, I guess. I'm thinking maybe the bacon probe up again and dock again and refuel it and then maybe send it to the moon so maybe I'll give it a little bit of landing capability more and see how that goes and I think that's a good episode to come up with so yeah is this just oscillating? I think so, the yaw is pegged there I really don't know what it's doing neither Roncan nor Somnier are happy about this, but you can't complain about a view like that. <laughs> All right. Uh... So that sounds good. Um, that's one of my plans. Then, what else should I do? I don't know. Let me know if you have any suggestions. 
Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. My name is Martin. I hope you're enjoying the .18 videos as much as I am enjoying .18. I'll see you soon.